What's up everybody? This is Jay and welcome to my page. This is the undesirables on YouTube. Today we are going to be talking about a very simple, very simple subject. Just preparations and being prepared for the unexpected. It's very simple. So we can't say that we, uh, I never went over this with you guys. Um... I'm not going to say anything on this that's going to be like, wow, it's groundbreaking, you know, it's nothing like that. I'm just going to tell you what I do, what works for me, and um, I'm going to go from there. Um, okay, so let me flip this around, show you guys what I'm working with here. Let me see how I flip this thing around. I don't think that works. My function, my camera's not working. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna have to just work with it this way. First, number one, medicine. All your medications, everybody, whatever medications you can, ah, uh, stay ahead. Get your medications now. Medications can be very hard to stay ahead of because uh, you need your medications, right? So, if you guys can cut back somehow, what I ended up doing, uh, I ended up taking half my doses for a month for two months so I could get a whole month ahead of schedule that's basically what I did or I cut it back into a third for three months until I got a whole month ahead of schedule and I did that for quite some time so don't tell my doctors because my doctor might not like it. they uh found out that I did that but you got to stay ahead of your medicines because you never know this day and age right but also um Everybody, vitamins, stay ahead of your vitamins. Everybody, listen, vitamin D3, most people are not getting enough D3, especially with whatever's going, look into the sun simulator, <laughs> uh, look into what I, oh, what's going on with Ohio, they got pictures of two s sources of light given off. Especially in Ohio, for whatever reason, in Ohio, in Ohio you can see it best. Um, China's already said they built a sun simulator. Some speculate that it's Planet Nebru, but something's going on in the skies. And um, chemtrails are really ramped up. That's that's definitely a known fact. And they're trying to cover up whatever's going on and hide it from the public. So look into that. It's really interesting. If you guys can figure that one out for me, let me know. I'm just as curious as everybody else. Um, alcohol. Everybody, you know, I don't drink, but alcohol, it's a cleaning agent. Uh, it's very important. Just if you guys do drink, whatever. I mean, when COVID shut everything down, alcohol still stayed. That was essential. So... But I got some alcohol just on hand. I actually even uh, make my own homemade wine. I should uh, show you guys how I do that. I got some strawberry wine making in my closet right now. I should show you guys how I do that sometime. But um, also, uh, baby powder, razors. Uh, uh, oh, look at this. Apple cider vinegar tablets. Everybody, if you guys don't know... Uh, I might have to explain this one day, but you can actually not get sick ever because if your body's pH, if you have an acidic or alkaline bot, the, uh, bot, if your body's pH is either alkalinic, alkalinic or acidic, disease can only exist in an acidic body. So if you switch your entire body's pH over to alkaline, Disease, cancer, all that, COVID, it cannot thrive in an alkalinic uh, body's pH. So, one way to do it, take apple cider vinegar tablets. Uh, don't drink soda and all that other stuff. Walk, drink plenty of water. There's a, lot, there's a lot to it. You're going to have to become like a vegan too, and I don't I don't plan on doing that. <laughs> um, yeah, but it helps. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Um... Okay, so moving on to food. Moving on to food preparations. Uh, you can actually get 
people, there's people out there to tell you, you know, buy 30 days worth of food for, you know, 150, 250 dollars for two people 30 days and it lasts 30 years. That's a lot of money to spend on uh, uh, two people for 30 days. I mean, I mean, I want to show you what I can spend money on. Uh, the for 250 bucks, I can feed a family of four for probably three months with 250 bucks. Um, with this stuff right here, ramen noodles, ramen noodles. Rice, chow mein, these little packs, these packs of food, they're very cheap. They're very cheap. They're very easy to come by at stores. When COVID was going on, uh, they, the stores, man, they, they were hit hard. Like they, they were like the first ones to start going off the shelf. So stay ahead of it. Um, also, I, I've been uh, on my page, my Facebook page uh, on Undesirables. I've been open about uh, I'm a recovering addict, and I've spent some time in uh, the joint, in uh, in in the jail. If you guys seen any of those locked up shows, you know you can see how them boys cook in there. I'm Chef Boy RG. Uh, you guys can learn how to cook some ramen noodles. You guys can cook. Uh, uh, pizzas, stuffed burritos. You can cook all kinds of different foods with ramen noodles, and I can probably make a, uh, a sh just a blog on that one day. Just different food to make, which is ramen noodles. It, it's it's incredible all the food that you can make just from different ramen noodles. You'll never grow, get old making ramen noodles if you know what you're doing and um i lived three years of my life three years uh l luckily i had money on the commissary i had money on the books and uh i went in with some money in my wallet people were holding me down i had uh my family putting money on my books so i didn't always have to eat those uh state trays and uh i could cook my own food my own food and Thank, thank the Lord, and I, I learned how to make ramen noodle meals. So I can pass that knowledge on to you guys on this channel one day. I'll show you how to make all the Chef Boy RG meals <laughs> from, from from the state penitentiary. I'll show you. I'll show you the ramen noodle hookups. So um, moving on. Also, like uh, you can buy them in cans or. Uh, packs like this, you know, the Starkist ch uh, chunk light tuna, or um, some honey barbecue joints. This just reminds me of just back when I was incarcerated. This is easy stuff to easy stuff to store, you know. Have it in a locker or in a little lock box. It's just still having the same mentality. <laughs> okay, or um, Spanish rice. Same stuff. It's very cheap. This stuff lasts a long time. Very cheap. You don't need to be buying all that 30 years uh, locked up food. You know, you don't need to buy buying all that stuff. Also, um, look, pork and beans. This right here. <laughs> look, look, if you take one of these cans, uh, one of these packs right here that I got, you know, we want to we crush up some um the chips. If we got some real chips, like some, um, I don't know. We got some real Doritos or something. Crush it up. This is what we call a hookup. It will feed 10 people. Get some cheese on there. Some Velveeta cheese. Like, look, Velveeta cheese. Velveeta cheese. Man, you guys don't know. This is penitentiary style cooking. Hot sauce. I think I got some, I got some sweet chili hot sauce. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, look, ranch dressing, got some ranch dressing, we want, you know, it will really, uh, just get that, uh, smoothness going, look, we can throw in a little honey, I got a big old jar of honey right here, just to sweeten everything up, 
Also, another thing I'll, I'll, I'll keep around is a lot of oatmeal. Anything to just add water. Anything to add water will save your life. Whey protein. That, that's that's a shake right there. In the morning shake, that's breakfast. Um, of course, they got uh, this isn't all the water that you're gonna need. Like this is just one jug of water. Sit, you know, but save lots and lots of water. Get a water. Uh, uh, <laughs> purifier. Get a water purifier. And I also got these out. I had these out from the other day. I did a uh, if you didn't see that on my page, I did my my silver post. If you didn't see that, check that out. I had my son with me. I went over when I uh, all my silver and I, why I buy silver, why I invest in silver. That was a good thing I did. That was a good blog. Uh, that was right before my uh, dentist trip. And my I tell you, my teeth been hurting, my head's been throbbing, and uh. That's why I haven't been doing these videos the last couple of days. But, um, yeah. But thank you guys for listening. And I think that about covers everything. But, yeah, um, this has just been prepping. And uh, I'll try to do videos more constant now that I'm out of the dentist chair. And my teeth don't hurt as bad. And uh, I'm getting over my these headaches from my teeth. I had a, a wisdom teeth taken care of and a root canal. It, it was bad. So thank you guys. Hit like, hit subscribe, share this with your friends. I love you guys. Take care.